We'll need to get one of those gates open. these troughs before, haven't we, brother? Oh. I'll wager we can redirect the water to get that wheel turning. That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares! They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them.
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Let me know if I can help with that. Why don't we try a sigil arrow on the upper trough? Should help it stay frozen. spot for this to work. We need to each hit the same spot for this to work. We need to each hit the same spot for this to work. without water in the trough. We need to each hit the same spot for this to work. <laughs>
I took place. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. 
It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well. You have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Bulky! Uh, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? <laughs> Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <laughs> What we doing, butt sausage? Where we going, huh? Ha! Hoo! Ha! Hoo! And better take out that net or it'll be eyeball city out here! Get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sops with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. <laughs> well, this sure is exciting to watch, but you know that's out of range, right? <laughs> Yeah! 
Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Well, you could start by burning off this crud. That's better. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Now we're talking! Hang on, coming around! Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brot than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Promising. Once more. Aye, aye. Stop. There you go. Right on the money. Again. 
gate to come on through and get those cables clear. I think they seen us. Behind you, brother! So the thing can move. That's why we're up here, remember? You're gonna pick a fight oh. with us two big oh. men? <laughs> Seriously? Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot.
Grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. Hey, Bonker! Come on! So this lady then, the lady of the forge. Ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Bye, bro. I've never seen you so... Reverend. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. If this place ain't in some disrepair, it's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. Cool. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tail. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb drop. Those buying, there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra. <laughs> like, finally get to show the lady who you are. <laughs> Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. All right, 
Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good! Crank it! She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Verger almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. 
Not at all. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Stay there! Left flank! Right. Oh, lick my face! There's eyeball nests all over! Get your throwing arm in here! It's coming! Come up here! Oh, 
gunbarrel on the left. Don't you see where they're coming from? Hit it already!
<laughs> Any more guesses, belt boy? Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> to yourself. This is stuff out faster than I can teach. See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever's you need. Not seeing no weak spots down here. But you keep looking. It's all about the proper angle with those. I'm telling you, you're too far to the side. Whoa, you sure you ain't done this before? you or anything you did not right uh you can bring that back to ratatosk group whenever you're ready Ah, that's blocked.
favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. These ugly bugs. Maybe those yeah. Grim will take it down. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> hey, Bartlett! I don't know what you're waiting for. I'm right here. for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. I see a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go? Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is.
Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it horking and borking. And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a... has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. 
Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. 